Ford Grand C-Max 2011 present. After the initial success of the Focus-based 5-seat C-Max MPV, Ford launched the second-generation version as a slightly bigger and much smarter car than the original, edging it further upmarket. However, despite its appeal, there were still those for whom seven seats were either a must or an occasional need, so to cater for them, the firm came up with the longer Grand C-Max, which includes an extra pair of rear seats that fold up out of the boot floor. On the plus side, this added in the particularly to let the car compete with the seven-seat MPVs and SUVs aplenty. On the minus side, it compromised the standard C-Max's stylish interior a little and added a bit of extra weight to the mix. However, for those after either economy or oomph, there are at least a good range of engine options. The petrols kick off with two versions of the 1-liter EcoBoost 3-cylinder engine in either 100 or 125 trim and the 1.6-125 4-cylinder unit, while diesels come in 1.5 TDCI and 2.0 TDCI forms. The 1.0-125 engine is smooth, happy and rather good fun, while the 1.5 diesel has enough low down punch to push the Grand C Max around with panache. Standard kit is generous, with three trims to choose from. The entry-level Z-Tech models have 16-inch alloys, Ford's quick-clear front windscreen, sports-style seats, air conditioning and a DAB radio. Mid-range titanium offers 17-inch alloys, automatic headlights and wipers, dual-zone climate control, rear parking sensors, and keyless start and entry. There is also the inclusion of Ford Sync 3 infotainment system with an 8-inch touchscreen. The range-topping Titanium X Grand C Maxis get larger alloys, a panoramic sunroof, xenon headlights, a partial leather interior, and heated front seats all as standard. To drive the Grand C Max is gutsy and likable, with any of its engine options under the bonnet. It corners with more vigor than most of its rivals, and its steering is quick as accurate, although there is a fair bit of body lean through faster corners. Ride comfort is very good, however with the damping softening, even the worst bumps and ruts. The Grand C Max is set up to be a little softer than the ordinary C Max, and it shows in its overall suppleness. Inside, the driving position and visibility are both good, and the dashboard design and its layout is familiar forward with logically placed buttons, though quite a number of them, and the fiddly touch screen. It is deceptively spacious inside, with sliding rear doors and a clever setup that allows the center seat of the second row to fold beneath one of the others, leaving a walk-through space. Ford calls the model a 6 plus 1 layout, rather than a simple 7-seater. There is good space in the second row seats for three adults abreast, and two children will be happy for short journeys in the rearmost third row. With all seven seats upright and in use, boot space is limited to just 92 liters, but fold them flat and this expands to a full 1742 liters should you need it. Check the bodywork carefully for any dings and scrapes picked up in car parts, and check the alloy wheels for curb damage. Also check the operation of all the seats, especially those in the boot, and make sure the tailgate operates as it should. Check any electrical options carefully. Electrical issues are the most common, with non-engine electrics being the main area affected. Most parts are shared with other models in the Ford range, so are easy to get hold of and relatively cheap. According to our most recent reliability survey, yes it is. The C-Max and Grand C-Max finished in third place in the MPV class, with an excellent overall score of 95%. Only 21% of the 0-3 to three year old cars surveyed had any faults at all. Ford as a brand finished in 18th place out of 32 manufacturers. Unless you do a lot of miles, we'd prefer to rack up in a car with the 1.0 EcoBoost 125 engine which is a smooth unit and has just enough power to propel a fully loaded Grand C Max and remain reasonably economical. The entry-level Z-Tech trim has most of the kit you'd want, so we'd stick with that. Our favorite Ford Grand C Max 1.0 EcoBoost 125 Z-Tech. Well, if you are the owner of this car, then please describe the problem that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your feedback that will help viewers when choosing a car. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for attention. It isn't much work for you to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.